Okay, so I am currently in my sister's room. Don't mind the mess. And it is the night before I leave. So my flight is tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. And I'm just finishing up packing and stuff. And also my cat is in here making me feel guilty that I'm gonna be leaving. <laughs> just a quick life update. I actually have two cats now. Their names are Ginny and Doug. Ginny is three and Douglas is four and they came with those names. So Douglas is actually named Douglas first, but anyway, that's not important. So I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm a little bit nervous, but I mean, I think it'll be fine, hopefully. Also, I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background. That's Douglas. Doug, you coming in here? Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so Doug is here now. Anyway, so what exactly am I doing? Why am I going to Iceland? So, quick life update. I finished my senior year of high school, and then I went to Denmark over the summer and saw some friends, had a lot of fun, maybe a little bit too much fun, and decided that I was going to take a gap year. And luckily, my parents were kind enough to get on board with that. And so now I have plans to go to Iceland, the Netherlands, Denmark and Nepal this year, which I am so so grateful for and I'm really really thankful that my parents are willing to support me through all of this and that they care about um, my world education I guess and me opening my eyes to new places and different cultures so that's what's happening this year. Okay my toes are kind of dying from seeing like that so I'm gonna sit like this a little bit for now. Um, so that's basically what's happening and I'm going to be in Iceland doing some volunteer work. Basically, I'm going to be doing some environmentally themed volunteering in hopes of helping understand what I want to study a little bit more in university because I'm thinking about applying to some Danish universities instead of just going to the American university that I currently have deferred. And that's kind of the plan. And so I'm gonna be in Iceland for six weeks and then I'm going to the Netherlands for a week after that and then I'm coming home. And then I'll talk more about what I'm doing the rest of the year in another video. But I thought I would give you guys a quick update. Also, some of you are probably wondering what is going on with Japanese right now. So I will be completely honest. I have not been doing that much Japanese lately. Mostly I've just been doing Danish, um, a little bit of Dutch, a little bit of Icelandic, trying to get ready for this trip. And I have kind of put Dan or not Danish, Japanese on the back burner. I think I'll probably try to get back into really spending a lot of time focusing on my Japanese in the future, but that's just not something that I'm super focused on right now. And yeah, I'm hoping to do like a weekly vlog or something like that. So fingers crossed that that'll actually work and I'll keep up with it. The reason I'm doing these vlogs is not really to promote myself necessarily, but because I feel very fortunate to be able to travel and um, for people that can travel, I hope to inspire them to get out and see the world. And if travel isn't really an option for you right now, I know, like, for example, during quarantine for me, it was very inspiring to see people living in other countries or just doing things abroad or even seeing like people's past travel blogs and stuff like that. So whatever the situation is or whatever reason that you're here, you know, I hope that I can give you a little bit of an escape from whatever it is that <laughs> maybe you wouldn't rather be doing at the moment.
Okay, so I'm on my way now to the town hall where I'm gonna meet the person from my program. Um, so it turns out the bus takes me to the city center, but I still have to walk like 15 minutes to get to the actual program location. So that's what I'm doing right now. I make a little suitcase. Also, everything has been good so far. So plane ride was smooth. Um, sorry for all the noise. Flying in was weird because like you literally could barely see the city. Like you were, it, it was pitch black. We were basically in the middle of nowhere until like three minutes before landing, which was bizarre. I feel like normally like 10 minutes before you can kind of see like the country light, something like that, but it was like barely anything. Um, and anyway, got my SIM card, went on the bus. The bus ride was chill, I took the fly bus. That was very easy, so I'll be to go. driver took me to this museum that we're at, I forget what it's called, I'll link it later. Um, so I'm gonna go explore and then he's gonna pick me up and I'm gonna go to the program location. for the program um, so I'm gonna give a quick room tour because I actually have a room to myself which I wasn't sure I was going to have so here you can see me in the mirror um, the door and there's just a sink in here and a bed and they gave me um, like a sheet to put over it and then sorry don't mind the random wipe I was sanitizing my stuff um, and then there is my sleeping bag and my tiny pillow, but they're going to give me another small pillow to go with it. Um, just some curtains, a nightstand, a desk, my suitcase, and my backpack. <laughs> and then um, my closet. So pretty much just the basics. Oh, and then you have a light bulb. So pretty much just the basics, but that's totally fine for this. Also, there's this view out the window, which isn't, I don't know if it's much of a view, but it's like something so that's cool and then out here just the hallway with other people's rooms and then down there is like a sitting room and then in to the side of the kitchen and the bathrooms so in general people did a pretty decent job of cleaning up after themselves but as you can see in the video it's kind of difficult with lots of people the bathrooms were simple but very functional and so is the shower but the only thing I didn't like was that the walls didn't go up between each of these rooms, so there was not a lot of privacy when you were trying to do your business. This room, the common room, was pretty nice. I mean, the furniture was pretty mismatched, but that's not a big problem at all. <laughs> um, and I ended up having actually a lot of fond memories in this room with my friends and just eating dinner with the other volunteers. I need to figure out how to say excuse me slash I'm sorry because I feel like I need to say that a lot. I was bumping into people all over the place in the supermarket, so I need to figure out that. This view is still just gorgeous. Like, I'm just going to the supermarket and I have like these rolling cliff mountain thingies in the background and it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm getting ready for bed. As you can see, because my hair is in the midnight puff, or the nighttime puff. Um, and I kind of finished putting some stuff away in my room. I just have like some of my toiletries out there and things like that. Um, today went pretty well. I ended up spending most of the afternoon um, after going to bonus. I kind of just hung out in my room for a while and took like a 30 minute nap so nothing too drastic i was really tired so i just wanted to take a little something but not too much to the point where like it was gonna mess up my sleep schedule um 
and then I called my parents and talked to them for a while and contacted some of my friends and then eventually I watched an episode of Too Hot to Handle a Latino because I thought that was really funny um, and then I ate dinner with one of the or two of the other girls. Right now in the program there is one guy from Mexico um, there are two people from France, so one girl, one boy, um, and then I think two girls from Germany, one girl from Switzerland, and I think that's it, and then it's just me. And of course there's the little cat, Francesco, that is an outdoor cat who likes to stop by every now and then. So then for dinner, I wasn't sure if anyone was making dinner or not, so I was kind of waiting, oh, camera, I was kind of waiting around for a while. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go get something, make a sandwich, but I saw some bread and cheese earlier. So I made myself a sandwich and went and sat with the girl from Switzerland. Did I say there was a girl from Switzerland? There is, if I didn't. Um, and the girl from France. And that was nice, and I got to know them a little bit, and we're gonna go into um, Reykjavik tomorrow, do some shopping, because I'm realizing it's much colder here than I expected with the wind chill, and I'm going to need some more long sleeve shirts and some other things that I can't really get in the town that I'm in right now. And then, yeah. And then I think on Sunday, we're gonna go to some hot springs and it's gonna be fun. So it's been nice getting to know people a little bit so far. So I am going to go to bed and hopefully get up at a reasonable time tomorrow and try to get some good shut eye. <laughs>